Before anything else, you should open a new empty project in Unity. For this getting started tutorial, we will be using one of the tutorial games published by Unity on the Asset Store, the Trash Cat Endless Runner Sample Game. After you add this sample game to your assets you will be able to import it into your Unity project. Once you have the game imported in Unity Editor, it's time to add Alt Unity Tester. You can do that from the Asset Store as shown here, or you can import the package from our GitLab repository, download from the link in the description and drag and drop inside your Unity project. Once imported, all Alt Unity Tester files will be under a folder called Alt Unity Tester. You can open the Alt Unity Tester editor window from the top menu choosing Alt Unity Tools to Alt Unity Tester. Here you will be able to see your tests once they are in the correct location, more about that later. Here you can set your build settings and you have access to build and play methods. Here you can select the scenes you want to include in your build and choose a platform on which to create it, standalone, Android, or iOS. Other additional configuration options include log settings, server settings, referring to the port used by the Alt Unity server running inside the game, and port forwarding if you want to run your game on a device connected via USB. Before running your tests you need to start the game. The first thing you need to do is to open a scene of the game. Go in Assets to Scenes in the Projects section and double-click on a scene. In the Alt Unity Tester Editor you need to select Editor in the Platform section. And then click on the Play in Editor button, so that the instrumented game will start in the Unity Editor. Upon startup, your game should display a pop-up with the message, waiting for connection on port 13000. Let's try to write our first test in C Sharp for Trash Dash. Alt Unity C Sharp driver is already included in Alt Unity Tester package. Let's go in the Alt Unity Tester to Editor folder and create a folder called Tests. This is important. All tests must be under a folder called Editor, like all Unity Editor scripts. When we are inside an Editor folder or subfolder, the context menu allows us to create a new Alt Unity test. Let's open it in our IDE, VS Code in this case. The Alt Unity Tester package contains the Alt Unity driver class used to connect to the instrumented game. The setup method creates an instance of the driver and connects to the instrumented game. The teardown method invokes the stop method to disconnect the driver. With the instance of the driver you can query the Unity objects and interact with the game. Let's write our first test. If you look at the scenes in our game, Start is the first scene that we want to load in our test to get started. Let's load the scene. Next, we need to press Start to start the game. The Start button is under Canvas, and it's called, Start button. We can copy that and use it in the test. We find the element, then click on it. After we click Start, we expect the main scene to be loaded. Let's rename the test to something more relevant.
We can now see the test in the Alt Unity Tester Editor window. Let's play the instrumented game in the Unity Editor. It is important to do this before running any tests. You can hide or show the Alt Unity Tester pop-up in the game by clicking on it. The console log shows Alt Unity Server is running on port 13000. Let's run the selected test that we've just written by clicking on the Run Selected Tests button. That's it. The test passed and the main scene was loaded.